<sighs> so, hello everybody. What is going on, dude? It is Kibish Monkey here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Brown. Last time, we went ahead, ran about, uh, had to do battle with some, uh, or yeah, we had to do some battle traveling across the little water, the sea, whatever. We found our way to, um, Igloo, Igloo City. We entered Igloo Park. Uh, ran a couple areas, got a couple items, and found some new Pokemon, and now we finally have ourselves our sixth and final member. Execute has been caught. It took me a while to finally find it and catch it again, but I did. It is known as the Egg Pokemon, often mistaken for eggs. When disturbed, they quickly gather and attack in swarms. I have it. It's part of my team, and the nickname, I think, I had decided on one, but I just completely forgot it now, which is great. I, I just had it like five seconds ago. Uh, there we go. That's what it was. Little old, um, Execute, which will then become an Executor, shall be known as Tropicana. That is his name. That'll be the, the name I go with. Um, not super creative, but I do like it. Boom. Transfer to someone's PC. Now let's get out of here. Because I have no other reason to be in here. Yes. Get me out of here. Even though I have to go back there eventually and get more items and stuff, we're good. And uh, as you saw there for a brief, brief moment, <coughs> everybody is now level 45. I did not mean to go to my PC. I don't think there's anything there. Pause it. Oddish. That is the last time we'll be using it. Withdraw. Tropicana. A little low. Ex execute. Look at its stats. Pretty good. It's a grass psychic type, but it becomes a wood psychic type. Has great defense. Pretty good special and pretty good HP. Has barrage, hypnosis, and reflect. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, quite interesting, but yeah. No real difference, I think, amongst pools. Everyone is now 45. Um, Morbius. I think he only learned Screech. Yeah, Screech at level 44, I think it was. Um, Ambush has Rage, Camera, nothing new. So, yeah, no real difference. And uh, I guess the only other thing worth noting is that uh, it's time to do a little bit of evolving. Yep. I also decided to get out the red amulet, and I recommend you do as well, because we're going to be needing it coming up. Let's give it to Morbius. go. Morbius is evolving, and with this, becomes a Gliscor, or Gliscor, however you prefer pronouncing it. Gligar, Gligar, Gliscor, Gligor, Gliscor. We have him now. 37 HP. Stat-wise, 106 attack, 127 defense, 100 speed, 94 special. 137 HP. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, that is our full party, our full team. Everyone is assembled and ready for whatever is to come. What is to come, well, we gotta start making our way through Mount Boulder. We have a lot of this place to discover and a lot of this place to see. And of course, uh, back in the Pokemart, actually, in Eagle Park or Eagle City, we can actually get ourselves max repels, the highest repels you can find. So, we're certainly in for uh, quite the little trek um, while we go through this place, because there is a lot to it, and, uh, boy, it will take us some time to fully explore this place. I think the, the Pokemon you can encounter here aren't that strong, so we're okay. Actually, I think we're okay to put, uh, Tropicana up front for the time being. We can only go so far, which sucks. We can't really access too much of this place, because, uh, we do need strength, but we don't have it quite yet. But I think relatively soon, we will... What in the world? There's a bunch of beds here. That's weird. So we end up in some sort of little side path? Well, in this little side path, it is known as Rehan's Tunnel. It's a little weird, but this place is filled with a good handful of interesting and surprisingly powerful Pokemon. It reflects that. It's like a gas. I'm I'm gonna go to Kirkhoff and make it easier on me. Pokemon you can find within the Rehan Tunnel are Meowth, 
dittos, polywags, mucks, and gold bats. It's uh, certainly an interesting thing, but uh, yeah, we're in this little just side hut place, I guess. I don't really know how to put it. Bunch of Pokemon we can randomly encounter and just a little side path that we don't quite know where it's going to take us, but we do know it's going to lead us somewhere. How are we gonna do? All we can really do is just make way through it and uh, hope not to struggle too much. Poliwag. Tropicana doesn't have any grass type moves, so I can't really do much with him. I can only just switch train for the time being and uh, get uh, get him some good experience. I'll hopefully catch him up because it's, it's gonna be a, a good deal. And I'm not quite sure how it evolves. I think it typically executes an executor evolves the uh, stone. I have to look it up, but I think it's via stone typically, though it may, it may have been changed or altered to fit this game, which would be really cool and really nice, and if not, I mean, that's fine. <coughs> Sorry about that. Execute. Just gonna have to keep swapping, we can't do much else. Uh, but how are you guys doing today, honestly? How, how's everything been? How, how, how is, uh, how's how's the weather looking like for you guys about today? As of recording and uploading this, uh, it's pretty rainy. Surprisingly, which is kind of nice and kind of cool. I, I kind of like that. Um, but it certainly is out of nowhere, not what I would, have, I would have expected the weather to be. Let's go. Let's keep on moving on through. Anything? Anything? Nothing. Another side path with beds and a statue. Okay, nothing to do there. Repels reflect. We're off. Let's set up another repel because I don't really want to worry about it. Uh, is there a difference with which way we choose? No. Both lead to the end. Another warp path, and here we are. Do you have any idea who owns that area? It's very confusing. No clue. We're not going to be going to question it. And we arrive here, back in Hayward, I think? Right, I think that's where we are. Nope. Hayward City. Yeah! Oh, okay. That's weird. We're up on that upper ledge that we saw earlier. Get to this place, we talk to this guy. We give him the red amulet. He put it in his pocket. Thank you so much, kid. Uh, no problem. Now, what's that reward you were talking about? If we had tried talking to him beforehand, without the red amulet, he would say uh, something along the lines of Africa. Um, he would say something about, like, he's a collector of amulets and he's searching for, um, different kind of, uh, ambulance here and there. <coughs> oh, yeah. It's an HM that can push boulders around. HMO4? Received. The HMO4 strength teaches strength. It lets Pokemon move boulders when you're outside of battle. Cool. Here, an old Pokemon merchandise, and yep, we now have one, our one few and final, I think, HM. Strength. Who can learn it? Enzo ambush Gamera. I'm gonna give that to Ambush. Ambush can gain the most traction out of it, considering he's a normal type. I'll get rid of, uh, I'll get rid of Tackle. That's what I want to be. I know Enzo could probably use more moves as well, but we'll, we'll get to it eventually. For now, let's use Strength. Push that boulder aside. We obtain the Mist Stone. Cool! Not sure what it's for, but, uh, nice. Don't want to fall back down that path, so instead, we're going right back in. We're going to make our way back through the Yon Tunnel to Mount Boulder. So that we can actually fully explore it. See everything that there is, and, uh, really just trek on through. Of course, we could have just flown back to Igalo, but I'd rather just do this. It's more convenient, more fast paced, I guess. Uh, no. <coughs> Set up another Super Repel. And, uh, we are set. There's nothing else we've missed over there. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, nothing more. Let's move. Do, 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 do. There we are. Back in Mount Boulder. Now we can actually fully explore this place and see all that there is to it that we, uh, could potentially have missed, or could have possibly missed, but don't have to worry about it anymore. Surf! We have Surf, Strength, and Fly in our arsenal. So let's go to Ambush. Boom. Get this out of the way. There we go, cool. Ooh. 
can't push you further, did not want to. Check out this staircase first, see where it leads us to. Oh, is this... Oh! Okay, I know where we are. You... Changed? Okay. Um, we're back... We're taking that little route, we're popping out back here. We're actually over by, uh... Yeah, Route 55, we're close to the other side of Eagle Park. Uh, mainly... What's it called? Come on, nope. We're over by Merson City, I think it was called? Yeah, Merson City. Cool! Well, at least now we know exactly where that meets up. Let's go ahead, let's set up strength here. Let's finish exploring this place. Let's keep on checking it out and see exactly what uh, awaits us, really. Ugh, it's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna push this over and over. Thankfully, the Pokemon in here aren't that strong, so you don't have to worry about encountering them. But still, it's something. Another staircase. Takes us deeper. Cool. We have multiple diverging paths. So this is going to be fun. Also, I suppose to be warned about, there may or may not be a potential level increase. Yes, I do mean that correct. There may be a potential level increase with what we can encounter around this place. I was not kidding. <laughs> I believe if we... uh. I'm gonna flee. I believe if we check our items actually and see where we are exactly. Ooh! We are, yep, we're still considered within Mount Boulder. But, um, I believe deeper amongst this place or deeper throughout, um, we reach further depths and encounter rare Pokemon. We have ourselves Slowpokes, Seals, Shelders, Horsies, and Slowbros, all ranging from level 29 to 39. Yeah. It's gonna be a bit of a handful to get through this place. There's a lot to... There's a lot to just get by and get through. But there is something worthwhile that lies at the end of here, if we can make it. You hear me right? If we have the patience to make it. I don't want to worry about the encounter, so I'm gonna have to move Tropicana behind Kirkhoff for the time being. Because I know it's gonna get annoying, and I know we're not gonna make any progress with the amount of encounters we're gonna get. Now this big place, this one area, is a giant maze. Meaning, there's multiple paths, there's multiple routes, and not all of them will take you to where you need to go. Mount Boulder Ruins. It, it is just trial and error now, or we just have to keep seeing if we can find exactly where we need to go. Wow, you made it. You made it to what? Uh, let's get on Gamera. Surf along. Here. Whoa! So this is what lies here. This is who lies here. <laughs> um, well shoot. I was not prepared for this. I don't have any balls. I don't. I can't. Nope. Okay, cool. Um, here, I guess, what I can do is I can still do this. I just have to save. Yeah, I just have to save. That's, that's all I can do. I just have to save. Which is what I'll do, yeah, because then I can just reset afterward, after I'm done. But here! Cool. We have ourselves in a legendary battle with Articuno! However, on the off chance that uh, things are done differently, the other Pokemon I believe you can find here instead of Articuno will happen to be... Uh, uh, Suicune? Possibly. You know, there's no real no, it's just a legendary. Oop, uh, doesn't really mess, me, yeah, mention too much about the other potential, or if there's a counter bar here, but there lies Articuno. Level 50, Ice Flying type. Armed with the moves Ice Beam, Powder Snow, and Peck. It's got pretty shallow moves, which is really weird. But I mean, that doesn't mean that it is still a terrifying threat to, to kind of counter. Articuno has a Pokemon. Excuse me. Isn't as fast as its relatives, as its Zapdos and as Moltres. However, it hits harder, probably the hardest amongst the three. It's got great special, it's got pretty good HP, and it's got great defense. <laughs> Meaning it's going to hold its own in a lot of cases. It might be the easiest one to catch amongst them all. 
or it can be the most difficult. It really is just up to chance with it. Unfortunately, we're not catching it right now. <gasps> Excuse me, but probably next time we'll give it an honest shot. I don't know if I'm going to spend the whole episode on it, but we'll see what happens. Um, other than that, surf. Let's make our way out and get on back to where uh, we need to go. Uh, super repel. But yeah, Mount Boulder. I, I, no, I won't lie, I expected a bit more out of it. I expected a lot more out of it. I expected us to kind of just have to do a whole flurry of things, but I, mean, I guess it wasn't that hard. Super straightforward, which is kind of a letdown, but yeah, it's fine. It's gonna set up ambush with strength. We're pretty much set here. I don't think there's anything else for us around these parts, so yeah. That'll be it from me for now. Next time, where we go, we're actually going to go back to Eagle Oak to make sure we uh, finish exploring all that there is of Eagle Oak Park, collect all the items that um, is obtainable um, after, obviously, attempting to catch Articuno. But, yeah, that, that is all for now. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you all have continued to enjoy. And uh, I will certainly be seeing all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.